All right. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another installment of Clarence in Dublin. Today I'm going to be talking about how expensive is it to live in Dublin. As I know, it's a question that a lot of you might have, those of you who are considering traveling to Dublin and those of you also considering moving to Dublin. Uh, and to answer that question, there's a long answer and there's a short answer. The long answer is yes. And the short answer is yes. It's expensive to live in Dublin. Uh, so I've got a couple things here that I wanted to go over with you so you can have a, a rough idea of how much it is you're going to be spending either on a month-to-month -month basis or uh, for entertainment purposes. Firstly, shopping. Um, something to consider is that in Dublin, Dublin is a part of the European Union, and if you're coming from the United States like I was, um, you're not necessarily aware of what the currency exchange rates are. Um, everything here is in Euro, uh, which typically is about 1.3 to 1.25 worth the US dollar. So if you're going to be spending roughly 50 US dollars on a pair of jeans, um, you're only going to be spending about 35 euro on that same pair of jeans here. However, that's not as easy as it seems, or it's not as nice as that seems because things here don't cost 35 euro. Uh, things here are going to cost pretty much the same as they do in the United States. However, they're charging you in euro rather than dollars. So if you're coming here thinking about buying a computer, like a new Apple computer or a new iPad, instead of you paying $499, you're going to be paying 499 euros. It's a lot more expensive. Um, American brands. They do have American brands here. Um, typically, they tend to charge you a premium for it. For example, if you're going to the store and you pay $3 normally for a thing of mustard back at Safeway or, or uh, Food Lion or something like that, um, that same brand of mustard over here, because they have to import it, they're probably going to charge you more like 5 I once saw a box of Lucky Charms cereal for 9 euros. 9 euros, real talk. Um, and as far as discount stores go, because I was really big on discount stores back in the United States, uh, going to Ross, TK, or TJ Maxx, those kinds of places, um, they don't have those here. There is one TK Maxx in the St. Stephen's Green Shopping Center in the city center near Grafton Street that they have. It's on the second floor, but that's the only discount retailer that I know of specifically that does, you know, clothing items, uh, you know, home decorations, that kind of stuff for a discounted price. So at least they do have a little something. Eating. Eating in Dublin is fairly expensive. Uh, when you go to a restaurant or when you go to like a street vendor or something like that and you want to order something to eat, uh, for a meal it's going to cost you around 9 euro. Um, at a place called Leo Burdock's, that's how much they charge you for a portion of fish and chips. Granted, the chips or the uh, potato wedges are massive and the piece of, chi or piece of uh, fish is uh, pretty large itself. It's still going to cost you about 9 euro as the same as for a kebab. Uh, it's typically something that we don't eat back in the States, but they eat uh, kebabs here a lot, and they get kebab meals. Lunch is also going to be expensive, um, but the best deal that i found so far is at a place called Centra and Londis. If you're looking for something quick to eat, they offer a two euro chicken baguette, basically, or a chicken filet roll uh, for two euros, and you can have your uh, mayonnaise, you can have your tomatoes, and you can have your lettuce, and it's all two euro. That's pretty much the cheapest thing that you're going to find in Dublin. No Taco Bells. None of that. McDonald's is really expensive too. Um, for entertainment, like movies and stuff like that, um, you're going to be paying a little bit more. Here, typically, if you want to go see a movie at a good theater, um, it's going to cost you about 9 euros or 8 euros a ticket. Um, however, there is a place on O'Connell Street called the Savoy Cinemas, and if you're a student here, like I am, and like a lot of you are, um, on Thursdays, they offer student movie days, um, and you only have to pay 4 euros for a ticket. So if you're going to see a movie and you're a student, go there on Thursday. Uh, nightlife. Uh, anywhere you go in Dublin is typically going to charge you anywhere from 3 euros for a pint to 5 euros for a pint. 3 euros being exceptionally low and pretty much impossible to find. Um, so you're going to be looking at an average price of about 4 euros to about 4 euros and 4 euro 20 for a single pipe of beer. Um, granted, the pints that they have here are not the same as the pints that we have back in the States. They are much larger. Much larger. So if you're used to drinking three or four pints back in the States and you come here and drink three or four, three or four pints, you're going to be plastered. Um, 
There is a place on uh, Saturday nights called O'Reilly's, which is underneath the Tar Street Dart Station. The Dart is their rail station. Um, and they offer 3 euro 30 pints on Saturday nights. It's a rock and roll style bar where they play metal music. Um, there's also a place on Thursday nights called uh, 21, and that's in the city center. Um, it's also a rock and roll night. Uh, they do charge you a door fee. I think it's like 5 or $8 or something like that. But inside, no drink is more than 3 euro. And they have a little something here called Buckfast, which is mind-blowing. Basically what it is is super strong wine with caffeine in it. So if you get an opportunity to try Buckfast, try it. At 21, you pay $9, you get a bottle for the entire night. Um, there's also a place called Dicey's. On Tuesday nights, um, they have two euro drink nights. So you go to Dicey's, uh, you pay the door fee unless you get in there super early before six o'clock. Um, and for the entire night, you can order drinks for two euros. You can get two euro shots, but the shots here in Europe are smaller than the shots back in the United States. So the pints in Europe are larger, but the shots are smaller. So something to consider. And then also there's a place called Coppers where everybody goes. Uh, that place is pretty much where anything can happen. It's ridiculous. Uh, living costs. As far as living in your apartment, uh, paying your bills. Uh, gas is going to be fairly expensive, uh, but they do charge you for every other month rather than every month here. There was one specific month towards the winter, end of the winter season, when my gas bill was almost 300 euro. To me, that's ridiculously expensive, but to people who live in Dublin, that might not be that expensive. And electricity isn't that too far behind it. Um, I did get an electricity bill once that was around 150 euro. So, uh, depending on how much your apartment charges for you to live in, and then your habits as far as heat and electricity go, you might be looking at a fairly hefty living expense bill. And groceries. Uh, groceries can tend to be expensive here because they charge everything in euro. The quality of the produce here in Ireland or here in Dublin is very good. So if you like to cook a lot, uh, the produce here in Ireland is great. Uh, if I can tell you uh, or give you some recommend recommendations on some places to shop, I would recommend A number one, Little, or two, Aldi. They're two German companies that compete with each other and are typically right across the street from one another. If you see one, typically there's another one right across the street. They're larger grocery stores and nobody can touch them as far as prices go. If you absolutely have to shop somewhere else because you can't find something at Little or Aldi, Tesco is your next best option. So hopefully that information can help out some of you. Um, it was a big problem for me when I was considering moving to Dublin. Uh, I didn't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. So, you know, cutting quarters as far as cost goes really helped to save my tail uh, when it came to month to month expenses. So, like I said, hopefully that answered some of your questions uh, and helped some of you out who are considering moving to Dublin. Till next time, peace.